Welcome to Skills Jam. I'm going to take it to the top. Where skills, passion, and ambition collide. There's a major skilled labor gap in America. It's up to the next generation to take this challenge head on and transform this crisis into the opportunity of a lifetime. Step inside the most exciting competition you've probably never heard of. The National Skills USA Championships, where thousands of students from across the country flock to Atlanta every year hoping to be recognized as the best in their craft. From culinary and cosmetology to construction and robotics, these students are carving out their futures with their own hands. Meet the teamwork students from Ramona, California and Jacksonville, North Carolina, whose passion for building will take them from the classroom to the main stage and be given the chance of a lifetime to see how their skills can work in a Hollywood studio. Are you ready to ignite the future? This is Skills Jam. My name is Chance, I'm 18, I'm in 12th grade, and I go to Montecito High School. Montecito is a continuation school. Continuation school is for, if you're not doing so well at school, you will come here and they will help you. During my freshman year, I didn't do too well, uh, but since I've came here, I've done a lot better. Things kind of changed around the time when I got into Skills USA. Meeting Mr. Jordan, well, he cares about us and he cares about what we're gonna do after school. Since I've come here, I'm back on track to graduate. Landon, what's your, what's your number for that double top plate? Uh, 89 inches. How'd you get that? You subtract seven inches from eight feet. Good. I do a little bit of framing. I do a little bit of electrical. I'm basically put where I'm needed. The other guys, they just want to get into the construction business and my life's just on a different path. Where I want to be later in life is I want to become a pastor. Okay, look, over here. So we got a Cali backer, right? When I become a pastor, this will definitely be helpful. I would love to go on a mission where I would be able to go and build houses for people that need and teach people how to do this. What draws me to want to be a pastor is the community and just how everybody supports each other. The similarities with Teamworks, they're definitely there, how like everybody on my team has my back. Get it on so I can see this line right here. Pull that corner over there. Like you're you're gonna work this. Get one good first before you start kicking it. My name is Sersone. <laughs> they call me Spooky. You don't have to go to college. You don't have to go to a regular school. Like my, that's what my parents always thought. But uh, we're in America. There's different opportunities. There's different ways to make money. It's, it's all in the mentality you have. Did you get a cut? Yeah. Give it to my man so he can nail it on. Let's go. Coming here changed my life a lot. because I know that I'm able to do what it takes to make money and to support a family when I'm older. Let's get our tools rolled out. Where's your box at, gentlemen? It's over there okay. by the air compressor. Right. Mr. Jordan, I think, has done an excellent job with Devin, just taking him under his wing and taught Devin the construction skills that a father should have taught him. So this wall can be flipped over. That's the top, obviously. I was a 15-year drug addict. I had to do a prison term. I was told in the past, you know, that he'd grow up to be a, a drug dealer, you know, instead of anything else. He wouldn't make anything of his life just because I was a drug addict, you know. I'm going on nine years clean now, and just seeing what he's gone through, I'm so proud of my boy. I didn't, honestly, back in the day, I never thought that he'd get this far, and I was scared for him. And to this day, I can look at him now, and he makes me proud. Sorry. <laughs> you guys gotta get the same number. You guys gotta communicate and talk. 135 and three quarters. Yep, so kick it that way, Devin. Kick it? Yeah, give it a little kick. That's right. I teach construction classes at Montecito High School in Ramona, California, and we compete in Skills USA. Teamworks is a 
team of four students. So it's pretty much all the trades combined into one. Rough plumbing, electrical, they're doing masonry, they're cutting in roofs, setting windows, setting doors. This will be our sixth year in a row. We're defending our title as the state champions. Unfortunately, we've been like the misfit kids, right? A lot of my students, you know, we have homeless here. This is a safe haven for them. This might be their only meal of the day. You know, some of the stuff these, these young men and women tell me, it, it just tears you up, but we need to say, hey, it, it's okay. You can, you can climb out of that hole. You can be successful. You can make money with your hands. You don't want no JHS. You don't want none. And if you think you're bad enough, come and get some blood. Come and get some I'm Madison and I'm the brick mason. I'm Savannah, I'm the electrician. I'm Kendall and I'm the head carpenter. I'm Khalees and I'm the plumber. We are the Jacksonville High School Teamworks team. Go Power! I've always liked things more that were for guys, like hunting and fishing and construction. That's always been me. Okay, so then I'll run it across the rafter and down to the switch. Yep. I cheer for the high school here and I do competitive cheer as well. We love putting music to things, so that kind of helps us like chill out, like, cause I know all of us have like high anxiety right before we started competing and stuff, stressing it out. But like, where we can just goof up and like let loose and dance around, it kind of like helps us just be like, okay, yeah, like we got this. Aha! I just cracked my nail again. <laughs> I got my nails done for prom and I cracked my, one of my nails. I'm laying my brick, so I have an idea. I'm like, oh, I can hold my nail together. I put some mortar in between my fingernails, or like on my finger. Yeah. As soon as it dries, it. it's like, Yeah, look, look you literally fixed it. How's your finger? It's short. Okay, cool. Just remember, hit the nail, not, not that nail. I'm originally from Puerto Rico. It was challenging to move here from Puerto Rico because it was a brand new place for us. We had no family here, no friends. Mom's uh, nail business going good? It's going real good. She might have a client right now. <laughs> Mr. Kellerman, he's just impacted me so much because I know he really cares about me. I'm going to do a little mullet wag for you. All right, y'all listen. When we get to Nationals, we want to hear a lot of dog barking. But we don't want to hear a lot of messing up, messing around, because when you get to Nationals, you got to be on point. Let me hear you bark. I'm Mr. Kellum, and I'm the advisor at Jacksonville High School. My favorite part about having an all-girl team is they keep the upbeat attitude and have fun. It's like everything just clicks together. Everything works. Good. Thanks, Dad. No problem. I just want to make sure it's done right. Mr. Kellum, he's our advisor, our coach, and he's also my dad. Closing up. I don't have a son. This is the closest thing that I have to a son, and I wouldn't trade her for any son in the world now. I don't think we realized how big of a deal it was that like all four of us girls until we went to the regional level. The other competition gets kind of a confidence boost in a way, because they're like, oh, y'all are girls. And then they're looking at us like, oh, we got this. And then we're like, no, you don't. Like, we got this. <laughs> Any school can participate in regional competitions once they learn the curriculum, but only first through third place winners are able to advance to their state's championships. Both Montecito and Jacksonville high schools have qualified and are moving on to states. Only the first place team will advance to the national championship in Atlanta. So the team won state, we got the gold medal, very excited, very proud of them. And yes, they're gonna go to nationals in Atlanta, Georgia. Over in North Carolina, the Jacksonville team's journey is also underway. We won first at our Skills USA State Conference for North Carolina. Now that we're going to nationals, the biggest thing is I just want to make my dad proud. Boys, we're coming for you. It's a day before we leave for nationals. Yay! Yeah, we're still we're not fully it. packed yet, but we're just trying to soak in the sun because you know it's summer. We got some dolphins swimming with us. Now that we're going to nationals, there's no point in being tense about it because you've done all you can do. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. 
It'd be really cool to win at nationals. My team does take it seriously. We're, we're all here to work. We're not here to mess around. About to leave. About to leave. On the way. I have never won nationals before. To see my team, especially with my daughter on it, to get on stage at nationals, it would just put me over the top. Day one of the competition, the chairperson passes out the plans for the structure that the teams will be building. Updated plans on your, on your sites being delivered? They'll have two eight-hour days to complete the project. All the teams are given the exact same material, the exact same plans, and in the end, they're supposed to end up with the exact same structure. Okay, are you ready? Wait for the board. Being at Nationals five, six years in a row, the build's getting harder and harder every year. I like that. I want them to be challenged. We're like the first ever all-girl team, and they just gave us pink hard hats. We love them, though, yeah. It makes us stand. All the other girls, yeah, like they were looking at us. The boys were just like, where can we get pink hard hats at? Each team has a plumber, carpenter, electrician, and brick mason. They all have to work together to build the structure before moving on to their areas of skilled craft. That would be the front. It's definitely a challenge, and there was just so much to do. At States, it was on a smaller scale. If you made a little mistake, it wasn't such a big deal. We are a pretty efficient team. We have our separate jobs, and we work together. With the expertise of the boys shining, they quickly move through the early stages of the build pulling ahead of the girls and most of the teams in the competition. I looked around and saw that most of the people had their walls already up and we were still building ours. It was kind of like a, oh crap moment. We need to hurry up, speed it up. It's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be. Yeah, supposed you say to be. like that? With day one coming to an end, the girls have fallen behind most of the other teams. I can tell a big difference in my team. They are very stressed. Kendall puts a lot of pressure on herself because I am her dad. Put it up here. Put it on, and then we have to put the, the brace in that first. I am very upset. Just am sitting here, and I'm critiquing everything that we've done. Going into tomorrow, definitely we need to speed up. As the pressure of the clock ticks on, exhaustion starts to set in after a long physical day. First day, I was super impressed. They got off to a great start. My team is executing their plan perfectly. Our whole team can agree that we are tired and we need some rest and get after it tomorrow morning. We weren't clicking at first. Going like today, y'all got to speed up. I think we're still in this to win it. I think we just had some pickups today and some nerves, but tomorrow, I think we got it for sure. With day two in full swing, the various teams are in the thick of their respective competitions. For Teamworks, there are only eight hours left to complete their builds. The boys are on track to finish, but the girls must pick up the pace in order to have any chance of winning the gold. No one should count us out. We had a little slow start, but it doesn't mean we can't catch right back up. I can see a difference in my team today. They are having a whole lot more fun today. <laughs> I was straight at them, too. We picked up the pace a lot today, and it's going really well. We got our, our window wall up. We started putting the beam for the ridge. Savannah has started her electrical work, so we're doing pretty good. Today, I'm feeling pretty stressed, putting up as much as we can. I saw that people were a little bit ahead of us, but we were still moving at about the same pace as everyone else. Looking around and seeing that we had caught up, that was also like a confidence booster. The clock's ticking. We're coming down to the end of the competition. And I'm pretty sure that my team's not going to finish. But what they have done looks good. They've been precise. They have took their time. They have done every step like they were supposed to. OK, we have 30 minutes left, OK? 30 minutes left of the competition, I kind of started freaking out. I was like, OK, like, oh, crap. Like, I got to keep, I got to get it going. We didn't get as much as we thought we would have done today. I feel pretty good with our build, only because we did what we could and we tried our hardest. Like when you get it done, everything looks good, it's level. And then look over at my dad and he's like, my dad being like, I'm really proud of y'all. At the end of the competition, judges inspect the quality of the build and assess how far each team got in the completion of the structure. Good job, how are we feeling? Good. Yes? 
With the competition now complete, the students will wait until the closing ceremony to see how they rank against their peers. But first, it's time to have a little fun at the Champions Festival. Getting ready for the festival. You'll probably get more makeup and stuff from Savannah and Maddie. Tintin wish for it. I'm excited to go to the Champions Festival because we just had a really long day. It's going to be a time for us to have some fun. Okay, one thing about our team, we like to dance. <laughs> We took pictures with random guys. <laughs> there was this one kid in Teamworks. Every time he walked by, we'd be like, I'd be like, Savannah, there goes your man. It's such a good experience and really engage in getting to know people. You meet people from like different states. You can just be standing there and you can see someone from like Alabama, Florida, or something like that. Tonight is the award ceremony, and I'm super excited about that, and I really hope we come in the top three. Win, lose, or draw, I feel proud of us. I don't think we ever gave up, and I think that's the most important thing. It's the final day. The judges have tallied the scores, and now it's time to hand out the medals. I want to go into the award ceremony with some pride and, and you know, stand tall and uh, go in there and know that they gave 110%. That's all I can ask, even if you finish first or 15th or 30th. You know, as long as you went in there and gave it your 100%, I am so proud, and I couldn't ask for anything more. I think we have a really great shot. You know, their quality work was perfect. This has really meant a lot to me. I've been here every time. My dad's been here. I've been to everything my dad goes to. We're the first to be able to do it with like a great group of girls. And when we come back next year, then maybe there'll be another one. With the finalists in Teamworks High School, please make their way to the holding area to the right of the Although it's not the finish either team had hoped for, their true grit and determination was evident through the work that they put in. Both teams can return home with their heads high. It's very important to me that these four girls can do what they do, but nobody can ever take that away from you. I hope they take this experience and apply it to the real world and hope they can make a great living and be a productive member of our society. That's, that's the number one goal. I want to say thank you to Mr. Jordan. He's helped me do everything and learn everything that I know currently in construction. He's basically changed my life for the better. Even though the Ramona team didn't accomplish their goal of a top 10 finish, they returned home with a blueprint for their future. I'm currently working outside of school in the trades world. When I knew that I was going out to the real world, I wasn't really afraid of what I was getting myself into. I feel pretty prepared for it because of this program. The girls, on the other hand, are off to California as well, but for a different type of opportunity. I'm sure you'll all recognize this house on the right lane. This is Tanner House from the Oh my god. Right Dumb. Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, where's the Dukes? Dukes, they're right here. <gasps> Stop, really? Skills USA team, welcome to the Warner Brothers Discovery back lot. Come on in. Shoot. Whoa. So this is oh behind the scenes. Yeah. How cool is that? So of course, one of the bits of movie magic is when you see these incredible exterior sets and you think about all the skills that go into creating those sets. You've got paint, you've got electric, you've got carpentry, you've got brickwork, you've got so many different skills required. And then what's the magic? Well, you come back inside behind the scenes and you see this completely empty void that we've got. 
Inside the fake facade building, we are seeing a lot of ridge beams that we had to raise at Nationals, and we're seeing a lot of walls that we framed. If you gave us enough time and the materials to build that building, I feel like we could do it. I started my career when I left school at 15 and a half years old. Started working on movies as a runner. I then moved across into the world of physical special effects. 10 years of physical effects, one of the bits of advice I would give you. Whatever the opportunities are that are put in front of you, just go for it. This is a fantastic time to be in this industry. I mean, when you think 100 years of Warner Brothers, you know, what a future we've got ahead of us. And to have the three of you in an industry, you know, generally a fairly male-led industry, I think is absolutely fantastic. You can make a name for yourselves, definitely. So one of the great opportunities you're going to get is to meet some of the teams that we have here. Hi, ladies. Welcome to the mill. We have such a huge array of talented people here. You'll really get a, a sense of how many opportunities there could be for people like yourselves. This is where the magic happens. This is where we build all the sets for all of our TV shows and uh, feature films. This mill can handle 10 shows, 10 different crews, typically about 300 people here working on a daily basis. I'm Pam Merrill. I'm the director of facility maintenance. I take care of the greens department, the groundskeeping, all the stuff that keeps the area clean. So I kind of look at how this facility presents itself in an aesthetic way. My name's Danny, I'm with the plumbing foreman here. We have a two million gallon tank over on stage 16. Wow. The first feature for that one was the perfect storm. We need to make sure that the water was safe for swimming standards, that it was heated so that the actors didn't get cold. Oh, that's that's right. cold. So Kalise is our plumber, and she actually wasn't able to make it with us. She has a question for you. What advice would you give to students that are trying to get started in the entertainment business plumbing? You could find a contractor and let him know your qualifications and your experience. Once you've served five years, you're allowed to take what is called a journeyman's test to be put on a list. And when there is a call for work, we can call you out. I'm Lily. I'm the head of electrical here at Warner Brothers. I didn't take the college path. I started here in 1994 and I was the only female. I think that it's very awesome that Lily's path was not the college path because it really shows people that not everything revolves around college. You know, just keep that confidence and go for it. Next, we go into the special effects department and we meet Tyler and he's the head guy of that. He shows us things they use for rain on sets and the big fans they have for wind. Reminiscing of your runway days? Yes, sir. Let's do something then, yeah. <laughs> all right, so this is what we use on set for actors and talent all the time. That was cool. <laughs> Did that hurt? No. <laughs> so you can take this advice that we've learned today, like, through life. It doesn't matter if we didn't win. Like, we're going to have more chances. It still opened up this amazing opportunity for us. All right, I'm glad you guys had fun. It's been a pleasure, but uh, now the fun stuff begins. <laughs> Sweet up. Here, you work. OK. <laughs>